my current favorite as far as the wireless goes my f current favorite is is the 9000 system um i don't know it, it realistically it, it just makes things simple for us uh it's it sounds great it's easy to work with and uh yeah uh, monitor wise um if i'm using wedges or anything I, i'm a a, a dmb guy so that's usually my default on everything, uh, M2s or M4s, um, any various uh, arrangements of something for side fills, uh, if, if necessary. I think that for the most part, the, the majority of the market is probably in-ears. All these young artists coming up are almost being force-fed in-ears saying, this, you need these, this is what you need to do your job. And uh, on the other side of things, and for a front house guy, it's, it's actually, it's, it's great uh, because it eliminated all, if if not majority of uh, any stage volume that, you know, when you had, had these massive monitor systems, the stage volume was, was not necessarily working with you, but sometimes working against you uh, at front of house. And with it, in ears being so predominant, that's all kind of gone away. Well, since I only ever really do live, I don't do much studio stuff. Um, Mine kind of boiled down to right now the uh, uh, Sennheiser the 9000, um, and we've we've been using the 9235 capsule with it, and I, I just I haven't really heard anything that that does it any better uh, in terms of wirelessly. Um, I I have some other artists that on when it comes to the wired mics uh, I I've used. Some of the comparable Sennheisers, the 945s, 935s, uh, and uh, the Neumann, the 105s. Uh, those things just sound great. The last time things went really wrong for us was actually the, the very first show of, of this tour, uh, this last tour, the, the formation tour with Beyonce. Um, we had just had a major uh, microphone meltdown, and uh, we... We still aren't quite sure what exactly happened, but basically one of the units stopped outputting uh, any audio signal, and we had to uh, we had a secondary unit. Um, so our, our RF tech, uh, who was amazing at his job, he uh, he went through his his list of of trying to get out of it and couldn't figure it out so called us we had you know have a shout system to, to communicate and called us and said what do you want to do and we had a couple of backup channels at 3732 so we immediately defaulted to that put that in the artist's hand um and then she had that for a few songs uh, while he took the the main system offline put the secondary system online and once he got that all patched in, we did basically, during a video interstitial, did a little line check and then jumped right back into that system. So if you asked anybody at the show, uh, management included, most people didn't know that that happened. So uh, that that's what, you know, but that's that's one of the things, like I was saying before, that your your signal flow knowledge and your troubleshooting skills can can make you get out of anything and and that was yeah that was the most recent one that i can remember